And welcome to another episode of BJ and Coffee. He's Bill. I'm Jim. I am drinking coffee. Death Wish Coffee, our favorite non-sponsor here. Bill's cheating on us with some Mountain Dew. <laughs> hey. Um, before we get too far in, as always, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash BJ and Coffee. Uh, we're on all of your favorite podcast outlets. You can find us on YouTube. Just search BJ and Coffee. We're on Twitter at coffee underscore BJ, and uh, you can email us at BJ and coffee at gmail.com. Um, so I'm going to start this one off real good for you, Bill. I was, oh, really, I, I had, I randomly came across my feed earlier this week. I should have shared it to the page, but um, apparently the new conspiracy theory is that Morgan Freeman is actually God come down to earth. And he's walking around and telling everybody in his movies that he's God coming down to earth, but nobody takes him seriously. I think I understand why. <laughs> I mean, you got to admit, though, as, as a person, Morgan, I, I, I think if anybody is going to be coming out as being God, Mor Morgan Freeman would actually work for it because he's probably one of the most even keeled individuals out there. Oh. Uh, well, he, and I watched a few of his movies and a few of his, you know, things that he's done. Like, uh, he's done a few uh, documentaries about, like, Jesus Christ and stuff like that. And what you got to watch are his interviews. Now, that will really... His, his interviews are, some of his interviews are kind of a little out there sometimes, but... The, um, I mean, he's actually... What, what's interesting is that his take on the whole, how do you deal with racism? Easy. You stop talking about it and it goes away. Well, that's, that's, that's the thing. But the problem is, is you got former NFL players like Colin Kaepernick, who keeps freaking bringing up dumb shit all the damn time. He's not former anymore though. Well, he's still not playing for a team yet either. He's not signed. Ah, see, I was reading the other day that he was already signed and everything was good to go. No, no one signed him yet. Ah. Teams are looking at signing him, but when people realize that he's still only a halfway decent backup quarterback, and that's all he'll ever be, <laughs> then maybe we'll talk. But I have something real fast on him. Uh, this has been circling uh, today all over the news. As of yesterday, I hope everybody had a very happy 4th of July yep. weekend. Um, I know I did. Yeah, I had a good time. I can't complain. Anyways, um, Colin Kaepernick rips 4th of July as a celebration of white supremacy. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's no holiday for Colin Kaepernick, who slammed the 4th of July as a celebrity of white supremacy, celebration of white supremacy in a tweet. This is his tweet. Black people have been dehumanized, dehumanized, yeah, whatever, <laughs> uh, brutalized, criminalized, and terrorized by Americans for centuries and are expected to join, and are expected to join our um, community commemorations of independence. Well, you enslaved our ancestors. We rejected. We reject your celebration of white supremacy, and I look forward to liberation for all. The former NF, the, for, the former NFLer, uh, star tweeted. The See, here, event, here's the thing. I'm just going to throw this out there. We didn't actually enslave anybody. Uh, Oh, we we did we per did our did the forefathers purchase slaves? Yes, that is just solid history there. However, they didn't enslave anybody. The Africans who were brought over as slaves were actually enslaved by their fellow Africans and then sold to the Spanish, who you know were the big the the major domos of the slave tra slave trade. So. Really, they got he, he's got to get his history straight because it was actually the Africans that enslaved him, not over well, here. It's not even that because I mean, if you actually look at the Fourth of July, 
the 4th of July is actually celebrating our independence from England. Yep. It has nothing to do about slavery. It was about the Revolutionary War that was fought to end our ties with Dude, the King of England. It, everything right now has to do with race. That That's just how it is right this minute. I mean, I was having a conversation in a Facebook post with somebody, and like four different people chimed in and made it about race. And I pointed out, I said, you know what? This was not about race. This hasn't been about race. Why are you bringing up the race card when it's not about that? And nobody had an answer, of course. Half the comments got deleted after the fact. But, but all right, so the activist who was infamously uh, shunned from the league after kneeling during the national anthem uh, paired the message with a video which combined images of slaves, police brutality, and the KKK. Democrats? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, the, Del- the Declaration of Independence and lynching uh, along with Frederick Douglass went uh, what to the slaves is a 4th of July speech as narrated by the actor James Earl Jones. Why would you quote James Earl Jones? But I have no clue. Well, he just read it. That's all they're doing. Yeah. Fellow citizens, uh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, allow me to ask why, why am I called upon to speak here to, uh, today? What have I, what have I or those I represent rent to do with your nation's independence? Jones reads, which is true. Jones is absolutely right on this one. What is, what does all this have to do with what independence is all about? Independence Day is all about nothing. Exactly. Um, are the great principles of politics, freedom and their, and of natural justice embodying in that? Absolutely. It's independence from, I mean, think about it. If we were still ran by what now is the Queen of England, imagine what our world would probably look like today. We wouldn't uh, we, have we look the like freedoms Canada. we have. <laughs> we'd look like Canada. <laughs> we wouldn't, exactly. We wouldn't have the freedoms we have today. You know, we wouldn't have all the stuff we have as Americans. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Chinese, whatever it is, you wouldn't have these freedoms that you have. Nope. Uh, Jones also continues in a short clip. This 4th of July is yours, not mine. It's true. Well, he's, he's here. Here's the thing. Nobody that's alive now was a slave. Period. Exactly. exactly. Nobody that's alive now own slaves period so this is like saying that a japanese child owes us reparations for pearl harbor just saying right, okay so okay let, well let's look at let's look at that real fast jim if that's the case should we still be pissed off at japan because they bombed us killed hundreds and hundreds of men I mean, don't get me wrong. We did kind of get them back at the end of the war, but I, you know, not yeah, but, saying yeah, that but, was right, but but still, I mean, should we be pissed off at Japan still? I mean, we're allies with Japan now, but should we be pissed off at them because they bombed us to bring us into a war we didn't want anything to do with? Exactly. You know, it's like, like I said, none of my ancestors owned any slaves. Actually, hell, some of my ancestors were brought over here as slaves. So fuck everybody. <laughs> That's what I got to say about that. It's really becoming. It's getting seriously out of hand. It is. But another note, I mean, illegal firework sales have been great this year. <laughs> I told you, you go an extra 20 minutes, you get three dozen Krispy Kreme. When you're coming back up 81, if the trooper pulls you over and said, I went to the closest goddamn Krispy Kreme to Syracuse to get me some fucking glazed goodness. You want one, officer? Well, <laughs> it's, been, it's been all over It's been all over Facebook, all over the news. They've been showing fucking news uh, departments all over Facebook, uh, all over the country. have been showing freaking uh, illegal fireworks being shot up in, I believe it's uh, Buffalo, New York, um, Albany, New York. Um, and a few other states um, along the way where fireworks are illegal. Um, 
and they've been lighting up the night skies. Well, it, in a way, I, I get where people are coming from, though, with buying illegal fireworks going to Pennsylvania or Ohio to buy fireworks and bring them back to their state. Yes, it, it's illegal. I get it. But I get where people are coming from. A lot of fireworks shows have been canceled for yep. the 4th of July to celebrate. So, you know, people that got kids or having 4th of July parties still want to be able to see fireworks with their families. So what's the next best thing? Travel to Pennsylvania, travel to Ohio, go buy fireworks. Yep. You know what? I kind of agree with them. You know what? If you blow a couple fingers off along the way, eh, it was worth it. Well, you know, they do say that the average number of American fingers, you know, on July 3rd is definitely higher than the average number of fingers on an American on July 5th. Uh, I still have all mine. <laughs> well... <laughs> you're you're running ahead of the average then <laughs> just like yes. i am <laughs> look got them all. you know i'm a, i'm all good <laughs> i'm all good i'm all good <laughs> but i mean i mean i i get it i mean i understand that's illegal but you know what though i mean if if you want to make your kids happy and make your family happy you know what more power to you go do it you only live once in your life yeah, we are not encouraging or condoning that anyone break the law. We're just saying, just saying. We're, we're just saying if you go and do it, do it discreetly. That's it, wait. And make sure you bring donuts with you. Yes, lots of donuts. So I, I was loaded. Let's just say that over the weekend, there was a massive spike in gun violence in Chicago, the city with the strictest gun yes. laws in America. Um, let me see if it, um, I was trying to find, I had the numbers here earlier and I'm trying to find them now. Uh, let's see. I saw it earlier and I forgot it was like something like 64 shot yesterday. Yeah. 60, 67 shot. I think one was a seven year old kid. Yeah. A three year old too. A three year old too. Sorry. Yes. I forgot about the three-year-olds. Um, okay, Chicago for Fourth of July weekend, and this is Sunday after, or this was thirty-three minutes ago. So around eight o'clock Sunday evening, as of eight o'clock Sunday evening, seventy-five people have been shot in Chicago over this weekend. Fourteen have been killed, and that includes two children. So you tell me why, you know, but you know, let's defund the police departments because you know we don't need that. No, not at all. I mean, New York City's already defunded theirs $1.1 billion. Yep. Guess where I'm not planning on visiting anytime soon. Fuck that noise. Yeah. Um, Syracuse, uh, the Syracuse City Fire Department went absolutely nutty last night with multiple house fires and several vehicle fires, brush fires, all sorts of bullshit going on from fireworks. Because it's also been super dry lately, so that has not helped matters any. Um, chalk up one more loss to COVID. Um, the owner of Wolf's Beer Garden has closed all of their uh, locations temporarily, effective July 4th. Um, basically, because they're saying customers refuse to follow the rules. And the problem is, even if uh, the bar staff is following the rules, if the customers don't, and a picture of that gets back to the state, the bar risks losing their license. So I don't blame them. I yes. do not blame them. But, you know, it, it's the problem is, and I, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. This is a virus that at this point, when I checked late last week, Thursday or Friday, the current status was that the virus itself has less than a uh, less than three quarters of a percent fatality rate less than 0.75 percent retality or fatality rate yes the numbers are actually going down now yeah because more people are getting tested um so it's less than three quarters of a percent fatality rate now if everybody in the country gets it less than one percent of the people are going to die if you go back and you start digging and looking at the numbers from the late 20s early 30s during the great depression 15 to 18 percent of our entire population died 
as a result of suicides and homicides. So here's the thing. Do we, you know, destroy businesses and our economy for less than 1% and then just open up the floodgates to lose 20% of our population? Exactly. Especially now, because let's face it, the younger generation has not been given the tools to handle this kind of shit. So that, that number is going to skyrocket. And we're already seeing major spikes in both suicides and homicides right now. You know, and all for a virus with less than a 1% fatality rate. Well, you know, in, in, I was in Pennsylvania the other day, and... You know, most of Pennsylvania is, I guess, in stage four, I'm, I'm guessing. And not a damn person anywhere I went was wearing a fucking mask. Well, I still wear them when I go out because I got people I want to protect. So, And I'm like, wow, people are seeing things. The, um, see, and again... I'm not against the wearing, I, I mean, wearing appropriately. If I go to a store, yes, I will wear a mask because I don't, I like people to go visit my parents and don't want to take anything with me when I go. Uh, but, <laughs> but I'm going to say is that the shutting down the economy is what's going to kill more people. Well, that's true. That's uh, not on it. Sorry, I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the freak. Just give me the news stories and stop giving me stupid random shit. Uh, let's see. Nope. I got a headline of. Coronavirus a concern after shooting at Syracuse party, but it's a video story, not a uh, not a written one. So, um, city of Syracuse enters new fiscal year with up to ten million dollar revenue shortfall, again because the entire economy was shut down. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to see if there's a what was that? Uh, shit, I guess that's a video. Oh no, here it is. There won't be a Syracuse St. Patrick's parade in 2020. I think we figured that. Yeah, that's that's old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it right here. Fourth of July weekend marked by violence as a girl, seven among dead in Chicago cities. Uh, cities see deadly shootings. Um, this is going to be corresponding with what you went with. Yeah, this goes into I think about something President Trump also tweeted. Uh, the Fourth of July holiday weekend across the U.S. was uh, married by violence as as more than 14 were killed and dozens were injured in shootings, including at a night, a nightclub in South Carolina. And in, in Chicago, a city known for its bloody gun violence, more than 67, 67 people were shot over the holiday weekend and at least 13 were killed, including a seven-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy. Uh, President, Trump, uh, President Trump reacted to the shootings in the two cities, in the two cities, two big cities in a tweet Sunday, Sunday evening, uh, Sunday evening, Chicago and New York City crime numbers are way up. 67 people shot in Chicago, 13 killed. Uh, shootings are significant in New York City, where people are demanding that New York City Governor Cuomo and New York City Mayor act now. Federal government, uh, federal government ready, willing, and able to help if asked. Uh, Trump tweeted, uh, "Chicago and New York City crimes numbers were." way up 67 people shot it oh no 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 see he's 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 actually tweeted he's actually said that you know if these cities need help well um, here's the it, thing they're getting rid of their police departments they're defunding and eliminating them essentially they're going to end up with the military in there that's just what's going to happen they think it's bad with the cops 
You bring the military in. The military only knows two ways to handle things. Gas them and shoot them. Period. You know, they're not trained. Other than the MPs, they're not trained as police. They're not trained as law enforcement. They are trained as military. And and if that's what it's going to have to come down to. I mean, when you have 67 people shot in Chicago and 13 killed, and it kills a 14-year-old and a 7-year-old. Yep. If you got to bring the military in, you know what? I hate to say it, but I'm for it. I mean, if it's going to stop the violence. I mean, honestly, my answer is arm the citizens. Look at places like Phoenix that has super liberal gun laws. Everybody carries just about. There's almost no violent crime. Almost zero. That says look something. Like, look, at, look at places like South Dakota. South Dakota's the same way. They have open carry laws for pistols. Yep. You walk into a gun shop out in South Dakota and want a pistol rent, you get it within three days. And that's open carry. Exactly. You know, as long as you can pass a background check in South Dakota, you can open you can open carry with a freaking Colt 45 1911. And not a damn thing anyone could say to you. Exactly. And, but it comes down to where, yeah, you know what? You need to protect your family. That's first. Because it's coming down to the point where people are literally targeting other people. And it's not right. I mean, I, I'm seeing the videos that the news departments won't show you because they don't want... The, they, they want to show they want to show the other side of of what's going on with the racism you know or, or, or they think what's going on but they don't want to show the other side of other stuff that's really going on of how these men or these groups like antifa are sitting there and telling white people who are just trying to drive by or go home or go to work you know that they need to kneel and say i'm sorry and some of them are actually pointing guns to other people's heads yeah you know, my answer to that is, and here's the other thing, is the videos are being shown today out in, I believe it's Georgia, uh, and I've been seeing them in the last uh, last two hours now. I want to say Georgia, but I could be wrong. Uh, supposedly the group, the Black Panthers, are starting to come back. Huh. And they're calling for a revolution. They're all armed. Yep. Legally, though? Well, that's my question. <coughs> because I, if, if they're not I can't, legal, answer, I if, can't answer if that's illegal or illegal. That's not a question I can answer. I, see, I can't. If they're illegally armed, if they're not armed legally, if they're not carrying legally obtained and legally carried arms then they're a terrorist organization period and i don't care what group it is that's any group well absolutely i i agree with you 110 percent. now when i see another video pop up on uh on a facebook feed of mine i will i will share it to the page actually so people can see it but they supposedly the black panthers are back in um wreaking havoc i guess from what i'm seeing well, I've been saying for a while now that we're headed down the tubes because and here's my here's my thought on it is it's not the people that are the issue. It's the people that have been in office for so goddamn long that are the issue. Um hang on one second. I actually it's it's the people like it's the people like Nancy Pelosi and Bernie or uh, Joe Biden who have been in office for 40, 50 years. Okay. Diane Feinstein has been in government for 60 years, six fucking decades. Chuck Schumer, 45 years. Maxine Water, Waters, 47 years. Patrick Lee, 54 years. Joe Biden, 51 years. Nancy Pelosi, 33 years. And that's the problem. I, I've said for a long time, we need term limits on everybody. Not just the president, but every fucking buddy. All the way down to your local people, you know. Obviously, well, there there are places that are small enough that I know there's one. Um, God, I'm trying to where, where it was. I think we talked about it one episode, uh, where the place was so small that the lady was the postmaster, the mayor, and the fire chief, and all that all in one. But 
in general, even here locally in you know central New York, you get two terms, period. You're done. Have a nice day. Move on. Well, okay, well, let's, let's take a career let's out of politics. This, let's look at this whole race thing real fast. You have someone like Joe Biden, who's been in office for 51 years, is having a conversation with a, a black man. And he had spoke up and told the black man at the end of the conversation goes, well, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Uh, yeah, exactly. You just don't say those kind of things. Well, Joe's in the, in the, I'm pretty sure Joe's in the middle of dementia anyway, but that's my thoughts. Late beginning, early middle. Yeah. My thoughts. Um, here, I'm just, I'm actually sharing that graphic to the page. Term limits are a must. Share. Boom. Okay, that's on the page now. So if you're listening to this and you saw it already on the page, you know what it's about. <laughs> I gotta look up funny news articles real fast because I'm telling you, I'm sick of this bullshit. Oh, I, you, I, I could always go back to uh, pulling up stuff on Wish.com again. <laughs> oh, God, no. oh, that was fucking great. I think the kids are down here. <laughs> so let's see what we got today <laughs> funny funny news <laughs> funny news articles who knows if any of this is all real or not but who gives a shit well here you go upgraded version Realistic, huge horse, animal, silicone, long male, strong massage toys for female and male. You just had to go there, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm going to add to that. What's best, the best part about this, though, is the graphic. And there you go. <laughs> oh, Did you send that to me? Yeah, you're on your phone. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> fucking computers don't want to work today. Hold on, hold on. I I know what I can do. Um. <laughs> Why don't you just share so everybody can see it on the podcast? <laughs> well, let me send it to you first. <laughs> I'm still not gonna get it. I'm on my fucking phone, dude. No, I'm sending it via Facebook Messenger. I'm afraid it closes out. If I close it out, it might end it. No, just open up another tab and open Facebook. Hold on, I'm gonna click it and see what happens. Like, you still there? Yep. You just turned off your video for a minute. That's just wrong. <laughs> so you think I should put that on the page? Go ahead, share with everybody. See what they say. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Photo done. We're calling it this week's finds on wish.com. Okay, that's dumb. <laughs> Anything else we decide to add on there, I can just add into the comments. <laughs> that's just wrong wrong <laughs> rotating gyrating vibrating <laughs> oh my god I wonder how much they pay the people to write that shit <laughs> I, I could probably give much better writing you know I have no clue <laughs> oh lordy i <laughs> i can't even this is just like oh wait a second tokyo ghoul zipper masks they just look so wrong <laughs> seven of the weirdest restaurants what's this That I couldn't tell you. Just to be interesting. 
Okay, eating out is such a... It's... <laughs> Maybe I should keep going with the uh, wish.com with that comment. <laughs> Until COVID, when all restaurant bars and eateries shut down, many businesses quickly went the way of takeout and curbside services, but now many locations are slowly allowing dining, dining out. Hey, Bill. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. This is this should be interesting. Okay. It's showing some of the actual like weirdest restaurants. Uh, this is the perfect fucking thing. Hold on, one of the freaking has a bunch of pop ups all the damn time. Uh, this is the perfect time to search out and eat at some new delicious and weird restaurants. Yep, weird. From condoms to robots there are the weirdest restaurants uh first one is called cabbages and condoms <laughs> eating, here, <laughs> eating here is guaranteed not to cause pregnancy this weird restaurant of course has condom themed decorations including flowers with trojan petals and weight staff wearing inflatable condoms on their heads they are they are not after after diner mints for you where the hell you is are absolutely, this? You are absolutely encouraged and ex accepted to take a condom as a sort of doggy bag that you are for visiting type, type goodbye. <laughs> Where the hell is this? I have no clue. It doesn't tell me. It just tells oh, me weird restaurants. So, um, <clears throat> next up, new vibrators for women toys for adult G-spot massager for female can wear toys for women. I'm going to bring this one up to you because it comes with a wireless remote. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Open up a tab on the computer to Facebook. Uh, hang on. There we go. Hold on. <laughs> Alrighty then. You see that? Yeah, I, that could I. Could, now that one I can really get down with. That would be that would be fun. <laughs> that would be um. That would definitely be. I had to order that. <laughs> It's only twenty three dollars plus shipping. Oh wait, and it comes in sizes. Oh, massager or massager period. <laughs> That's the sizes, colors: purple or rose red. I'm not sure which one is showing. That must be the rose red because it doesn't look like the purple. Monster. Hang on, I'm trying to sign in real fast. My Facebook. I'm trying to remember my password and shit. <laughs> And to mix it that uh, it's Let's see if that's it. Oh, let's see. Nope. <laughs> it's the other password. <laughs> okay bill let me know when you're, when you're locked in no hold on i'm waiting for a freaking six digit fucking code to come up gotcha my freaking phone i'm sending you one that would have been useful to you last weekend <laughs> That'd be a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Have your own funnel mouth gag. <laughs> Hang on real fast, Jim. Okay. Can you still hear me? Yep. Uh, nope. I didn't get it there. Where did it go? 
Did you change your phone number and not change it on Facebook? No, I, I got to hit yes, that was me. Yes, this was me. Can you? All right. No, I had to. I had to go out of my other face, my Facebook mobile, real fast to switch over to say it was me that I was trying to log in. You know, I can't, never mind. I can't even on this one. This one, it's even. I'm going like that's just too much. <laughs> I, I, this must be for everybody. <laughs> I, I'm just, yeah, I got to walk away from this one. <laughs> that would probably get us a Facebook, uh, in Facebook jail. <laughs> probably. Okay. If this is not Shisha Hookah Gas Mask Kit, Hookah Water Silicone Flexible Pipe Mask for Party. Now, here's my thoughts on this. <laughs> and I'm going to send you the picture. No, oh boy. $17. And uh, there you go. If that isn't just a tad on the, you know, questionable side, because it's a Black Panther mask from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What the hell does it do? You put the mask on, and you connect the uh, the the um, the bong to it. That like there's the that oh I see the, yeah 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 that yeah, connects yeah, yeah. into the bottom, and you just inhale. Don't ask how I know about these things. Because you're a pothead? Ah. <laughs> I admit <That's> nothing. <laughs> wrong. wrong. You know, I, if it wasn't Black Panther, I would probably not even, I would have scrolled on by. I truly would have. But that just seems, especially in today's current, whatever you want to call it, it just seems very inappropriate. Yeah. Ooh, bless me. Um, wait, you have cats. Okay, so here, here's one. Yep, I got cat, two cats, a dog, and now one, two, three, four, five fish, and two sharks. Well, the, the aquatic ones shouldn't bother your toilet paper. There we go. What the fuck? It's a toilet paper cover. Alrighty then. So that the cats won't bother your toilet paper. Cats don't bother toilet paper as Harley does. Well, he won't be able to either at that point. No, because he'll just pull anything that he finds and eat it anyway, so he wouldn't care. Well, it's got that nice little drawer in it too, so if, you know, you know the missus has to store her personal products there, Nah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Looking for the video so I can put it up on the pod on the page. Uh, no, I don't want that. What the fuck? Oh, here we go, Bill. I found a mask you wouldn't mind wearing. I'm not even saying that in the funny ass way either. <laughs> what? What the? <laughs> no, nah, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
no, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> My dogs didn't even flinch. Harley's barking. Oh, uh, someone's doing fireworks across the street. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, he was scared yesterday. I can imagine. Because he heard loud bangs in our driveway. Well, you should save that for the bedroom. That wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hang on. Here we go. I may have to call it after this one. When it says too real, you know you're in trouble. Oh, God. I don't even think I want to know. What the? <laughs> what? What the? No. No, that's enough, dude. That's just, that's just wrong. 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 That's that's like animal cruelty right there. That is animal cruelty. Not according to the horse. <laughs> well, like, allegedly, I, I, I'm not. No, I, you know what? Like, no, no. Alleged, no. allegedly, Catherine the Great of Russia, one of the last tsarinas of Russia, uh, died when the horse fell off the straps on top of her. Allegedly. No, ready then. No, I can't even right now. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Well, let's see what's going on in the news today on Facebook. Anything good? Well, that's my feeds. Let's see. I think I shared. What is that fucking? I have no idea. I was having a brain fart for a minute. That's what I smell. I got it now. I, wow, they're really stretching on these masks these days. Oh, here's one of the videos. Oh, shit, I can't share it. Son of a bitch. I forgot I shared it to a close group. Well, if you go back to the original, you should be able to get to it. Uh, I got to find it now. I forgot what page it was on. That's not mine. Oh, there it is. I found it. <sighs> So, I'm going to have to be making a trip to Home Depot this week myself. Yeah, me too. Decided it's time to uh, replace the oven finally because it's really just not working anymore. Yeah, I got I to gotta go there tomorrow, I think. Probably after work. Gotcha. I wish I could say after work. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. I got to work. I worked four days and got Friday off. Nice. And I'm getting paid for it. It's my birthday. Nice. I figured I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I got all these, you know, days left that I could use, you know, personal days, vacation, sick time. Like, you know what? I think I'm just going to take and go ahead and use a personal day for my birthday for one since I've never I've never taken time off anyways from work or anything like that because I never got personal time or vacation time anywhere. So I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take the day off and you know what? Make it a three day weekend. Nothing wrong with that. 
course, but I'm not getting drunk though. <laughs> but did you die? <laughs> no, but because see, then I would just break my rule. I only drink every year to year and a half. So then I'd break my rule. So I can't drink now. <laughs> I'm Ooh, still looking at this electric. Here, I'm still looking at this electric bike, Bill. Are you? Yep. Max speed yeah. 60 miles an hour, max range of 75 miles. But I might actually have something to show off at the pot at the at next week's podcast, though. Really? Yeah. You getting a toupee? No. <laughs> I don't know. Wife just said it's something that I've been wanting. Gotcha. I was like, a boat? She goes, no, not a boat. <laughs> at a camp she goes no not a camp i'm like any other kind of hints that i can have so finally she just told me really i'm getting, I'm getting a tattoo friday nice you going to see john huh john john um davis yeah i'm going to his shop but i can't get into john davis Gotcha. I can't like John Davis actually. I gotta go to one of his uh, probably, probably one of the how you call him, one of his workers, one of his many workers. Which I don't really mind because they do a lot of good work too. So because obviously they wouldn't be working for John if they didn't. True. So because it's literally to get in to see John, you literally got a freaking you got it's like a year and a half wait to even get to like. To get a freaking seat with him. So it's like, because she even asked me, she's like, well, you know, you're not going to get John Davis, right? I said, no, I understand that, but it is what it is. Sorry, right, I got some ideas that I'm getting done. Nothing wrong with that. Thinking about getting a Statue of Liberty with American flag behind her. And then she's going to be pointing uh, Colt 45. <laughs> gonna, we're gonna go America on that one. <laughs> I'm going American, man. I'm going American. God, country, and guns. Oh lordy, that's my that's my thought. Got some other thoughts. <laughs> Definitely gonna be something American. America, and I can't find that video now. Facebook must have removed it. It happens. It was literally the Black Panthers literally calling out and asking for and telling them we're going to start a revolution. So I'm thinking they're actually, Facebook must have removed it. Yep. Yeah, they'll end up getting uh, dinged as a terrorist group, and that's just how it's going to roll. Oh, no. Uh, BL, BLM burns American flags on the 4th of July. Yep. You know what? If you don't like our fucking country, get the fuck out. Well, you know, I'm still waiting for everybody that said they were going to move when Trump got elected to actually move. None of them actually have. Well, obviously, they don't hit the country that much. Ugh. Um, there's just like not a whole lot of news this weekend. No, there isn't. Well, you know what? We've been kind of hedging around it. Might as well talk about it. About Kanye, what? Kanye, twenty twenty. Oh God! <laughs> We're all fucked if he gets elected, dude. I'm not lying. I actually would seriously figure out how to move to the UK if that happened. I'm not. I can't even. I mean. That guy's got more fuck. That guy's got more screw loose than fucking Bernie Sanders has, and then he's saying much. At this point, he does not appear to have registered his name with the Federal Election Commission for November's election. Um, the closest name the FEC database shows is a candidate called Kanye D's Nuts West, who filed their papers with the Green Party in 2015. Under the address, 1977 Gold Digger Avenue, Sweet Yeezus. It appears to have raised no money. 
<laughs> um, it's also not the first time he's claimed he's running. At the 2015 MTV Music Video Awards, he said he decided to run for president in 2020. But last November, he pushed the date back, saying we'd actually run in 2024. Um, what are you laughing at? He asked the crowd at Fast Company's Innovation Festival. We would have created so many jobs that I'm not going to run. I'm going to walk, he said, adding he was considering changing his name for the run to Christian genius billionaire Kanye West. Of course, he already has one one strong supporter, Elon Musk. <laughs> I I have a perfect running mate for him. Weston Daniels, twenty twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> West Stormy, twenty twenty. <laughs> they can both they both can get it on in the Oval Office. When it rains, it fucking pours. <laughs> Vaginal juice. <laughs> oh I, my god. Oh. Um, could you could you imagine that Kanye West and Stormy Daniels? No, I, I I just can't, and I'm trying very hard to not even go down that road. But um, I I think I would just go vote just for I think I'd just go vote for them just for the fuck of it, just for the amusement and entertainment of the whole thing. Um, in 2018, West made a bizarre appearance at the White House with President Trump during which he wore a Make America Great Again hat and made an expletive-filled rant that Mr. Trump described as, quote, quite something. <laughs> he, I love this guy right here, Wes said, walking behind the desk to hug the seated president, who said, that's really nice. <laughs> The rapper also pushed back on the idea that African Americans are overwhelmingly Democratic Party voters, saying people expect that if you're black, you have to be a Democrat. Kim Kardashian West retweeted her husband's statement about the presidential run with an American flag. She has in recent years become a significant voice in the U.S. Mo I, oh, Kim Kardashian is the first lady. God, we're screwed. We would be fucking screwed. Fucking screwed. Good Lord. Well, yeah, because she'd be like, well, everyone's got to wear my outfits that I sell. They're all $199.99. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't. I, I really I, switched the right now. Dude, I just lost like 18 IQ oh, points God. reading that article. Oh, my fucking Lord. Formula One drivers divided as several choose not to kneel in support of BLM. Interesting. Well, the Formula One has been trying to stay away from all the controversy as much as they can. Um, apparently, I guess it's not working, I guess. <laughs> um, I did read a thing uh, that uh, they did call out uh, Lewis Hamilton, who they're like, oh, he's a black driver. And I'm like, he's not a fucking black driver. First of all, if you look up his nationality, he's not even black. He's like, I think he's from Mexico or something like that. Oh, damn. So in baseball news, the Yankees' Masahiro Tanaka is in really good spirits after taking a line drive to the head. Um, <laughs> uh, manager Aaron Boone was not hyperbolizing by saying that New York Yankees dodged a bullet with pitcher Masahiro Tanaka, seemingly being symptom free just a day after being hit on the right side of the head by a 112 mile an hour line drive from Giancarlo Stanton. Uh, <laughs> after he underwent a battery of tests, Tanaka's official diagnosis was simply a quote mild concussion and he was released from New York Presbyterian on Saturday night. Astonishingly, the 31-year-old right-hander was back at Yankee Stadium on Sunday. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. First and foremost, a very scary incident, something that when you do what we're doing, it's tough to avoid, said outfielder Brett Gardner. We've seen him here today walking around, acting like his normal self, so I'm hoping that he's in the clear. Um, let's see. 
<laughs> Ooh. Um, I mean, that, that's one of those things that, I mean, it's baseball. It happens. But, damn. Yes. Dude, I, I, the video of this is... Um, uh, why are they not giving me the video? Anyway, hey, I'm going to actually share this one from ESPN to the page because that's just like, damn. <laughs> that, that was a damn. Um, hang on. I got to figure out how to. Oh, okay. Copy the link. Go to the book of face. I don't like the new Facebook on the computer, man. It's just not cool. No, like Facebook on fucking the phone right now either. Phones hasn't really changed much. The, uh, but on the computer, it's totally changed. Oh, excuse me. Ouch. There we go. It's posting now. But, yeah, that, I mean, you see it. It's just straight off the bat to his fucking head. Holy shit. You can see he starts to try and dodge it, and it just ain't happening. He's taking that bad boy to the head. That is, you know, <laughs> there is no way around that one. Knocked a few brain cells loose, huh? Um, apparently, he's in good shape. They, they said it was just a mild concussion, so he got lucky as hell. Which is a good thing. Yep. I mean, news stories. What's this? There. I mean, I'm like way down at the bottom of Google News right now trying to find something. Actually, they're talking... Um, July's full buck moons while sky watchers, despite a lackluster lunar eclipse. I did not stay up late enough last night to watch the lunar eclipse, but the full moon was actually really pretty. I will say that. I didn't watch it at all. I came inside and went and laid down and uh, fell asleep. <laughs> NASA, China, and the United Arab Emirates are scheduled to send missions to Mars in July. Woo. You ready to move to Mars, Bill? Nope. <laughs> Starting in July, the window opens when missions to Mars can be easily sent across the interplanetary gulf. If all goes well, three such missions mounted by NASA, China, and the United, the United Arab Emirates will depart Earth for the Red Planet. The number of missions, who is launching them, and their complexity illustrate the importance Mars has for purveyors of space exploration policy. Um... Let's see. Uh, NASA Perseverance is currently scheduled to launch somewhere between July 30th and August 15th and will land at the Jezero Crater on Mars on February 18th of 2021. So, to September, October, November, December, January. That's a six month trip. Um, Perseverance will roll about the Martian landscape looking for signs of life, past and present, and collecting rock and soil samples for later pickup and delivery to Earth. The rover will also carry a helicopter drone that is envisioned as the first aircraft to fly in the skies of another world. Uh, China's Tianwen-1 is the most complex, consisting of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover. Uh, the name roughly translates to the quest for heavenly truth. Uh, it's smaller than the Perseverance, contains six scientific instruments. Uh, while the rover spends 90 Martian days rolling around studying Mars at close range, the orbiter will, orbiter will examine it from a wider perspective for about one Martian year, serving as a communication relay. The UAE mission is a small orbiter called HOPE, which is scheduled to launch on a Japanese rocket and will spend 200 days cruising to Mars. The probe will enter an elliptical orbit around the red planet and spend at least two years studying the aspects of the Martian atmosphere. Hmm. Interesting. Um, why are so many missions being sent to Mars in a single month? The answer is different for each player. Uh, NASA's primary mandate has been to explore space. So, boom, there we go. China is mounting an expedition to enhance its status as a major space power. The UAE, conscious that oil and gas are beginning to lose their appeal, has embarked on creating a high-tech economy. Um, so that's part of their strategy. 
All the data gleaned in these missions, as well as everyone past and future, will support the grandest Mars vision of all. SpaceX's Elon Musk has made no secret of his desire to found a city on the Red Planet, thus establishing, as a space visionary Robert Zubrin has advocated, a second branch of human civilization. The idea is to spark the pioneering spirit on Earth by opening a human frontier on the fourth planet from the sun, enabling innovation and optimism that has been sorely lacking in recent years. Coincidentally, Mars would become an insurance policy for the human race, ensuring that it does not become extinct due to some calamity, such as the object that crashed into the Earth killing the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. <laughs> so, we got that going on. <laughs> Let me copy. I'll drop that one on the page as well. Well, let's see. Any car IMS announces race for equality and change. IMS is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Okay. Um, IndyCar and the International Motor Speedway has announced the race for equal and equal equality and change, a major effort to support division and inclusive across the IndyCar uh, industry. A key a key pillar of race for equality and change will be a one million fund to fuel international and strategy programs that will create fundamental change. Uh, let me scroll down, hang on. Whoops, went too far. The computer went too far. <laughs> uh, key focus of the race for, for equality and change includes recruiting and developing, developing a division workforce throughout all levels of the IndyCar and IMS. Uh, Devising the competition driver's field of the of the at grassroots roads at Indy and NTT uh, IndyCar Series levels, support supporting uh, impactful grassroots youth motorsports programs, including enhancing the internet uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, long-standing partnership with uh, Next Generation Next Generations, a 501c3 that introduces uh, majority students to the following. To the, to the world of motorsports, uh, using employment, leadership, and ownership with the series and with IndyCar promoters, uh, in investment in uh, community and communities to encourage to to encourage greater uh, engagement in IndyCar and uh, IMS, establish and progressive program to meaningful in, increase the number of. Uh, majority owners, businesses that contact with IndyCar and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway each year. Um, so it sounds to me like what they're doing is they're really just trying to bring the black people really to IndyCar with the means of jobs in the motorsports world. Um, Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, it's if a great they, they want to be there, great, but... I mean, don't you think there'd be more minority drivers if they wanted to do that for a living? Well, that's the reason why uh, uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway has actually started, I believe it was a couple years ago, a go-kart. It's like kind of like a go-kart series, and it's yeah. all kids that are, that are black, you know? Um, and that's where that 501c3 uh, company comes in for next-generation gen racers. Um, and that's something that Indy Motor, uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway has done uh, with their corporation. With uh, IndyCar actually helps out a little bit with that too. Um, you know, it, but the thing is with IndyCar, IndyCar isn't made up with a bunch of uh, American drivers. You know, they're drivers from all over this world, uh, from other countries. Uh, I'll look it up real fast. Uh, let me see if I can find their driver roster real fast. Right here, drivers. Um, Scott Dixon is from uh, England. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We have uh, Pedro Award. He's uh, 
again, uh, we have a Marcus that's uh, Erickson. Erickson, he's from Sweden. Yep. Another one from uh, Italy. One from Canada. England. Speaking of England, the uh, parts of England reopened their pubs on <clears throat> Friday, or Saturday, I mean. And uh, to quote the um, – where did it go here? Hold on, I gotta find it. The head of the United Kingdom's Police Federation said he ended up dealing with, quote, naked men, happy drunks, angry drunks, fights, and more angry drunks while on shift. What's crystal clear is that drunk people can't and won't socially distance. <laughs> Hello. We've seen the video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what video you saw, uh, but anyways, we have another driver here that uh, he's uh, he's from Japan. Um, so it, yeah, there there are a lot of drivers that yes are from the United States. And people sit there and say, well, all race all race car drivers are white. You can't say that because I mean, like I said, I mean, you, you look at the IndyCar league, IndyCar series that it is, you know, and a lot of their drivers, a lot of their top drivers aren't from the United States. You know, yeah, dude. What country you're from doesn't have anything to do with the color of your skin, though. Well, I understand that, but I'm just saying, just, you know, that's what people are trying to say. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, I'll go check out Formula One real fast and and see what their drivers are real fast. Let me see where I, I want to see where that uh, Lewis Hamilton's from, anyways. I'm gonna go back. I go back here. There we go. Uh, Formula One. Well, glad I wasn't in Switzerland recently. A Siberian tiger killed a Swiss zookeeper inside an enclosure on Saturday as horrified visitors watched. That would suck. Lewis Hamilton is from actually England, and believe it or not, he drives a Mercedes. Mercedes is a German company. Well, Formula One is is known with Mercedes, Ferrari, McLaren. Oh yeah, that's what that's what Formula One is all about. All the cars look the same. It's just a motor company. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It just kind of like shows it too, like where all their drivers are from. Like they're even Formula One, all their drivers are from all all over the world. Yeah, that's like this Formula One style racing is a worldwide sport. That's not just an American thing, like you know your stock car, NASCAR, that type of stuff. Um, although yeah. even technically, like NASCAR did originate with your your bootleggers. However, there is there are records of European auto racing you know, back in the early 1900s when they first started making cars. You know, the first yes. thing they do when they get a car on the road is, well, see how fast we can make this fucker go. <laughs> well, NASCAR, NASCAR didn't start until the 1940s, until after, it started after World War II ended. And then NASCAR actually didn't become NASCAR until 1948. Uh, let's see, where's some of these, England... Uh, Italian, Italian, Irish, Canadian. But. England, Poland, Scotland. Okay. I'm going to throw something out there because, you know, talking about the shooting deaths and all that earlier, people that want to call for more gun control. The UK has the ultimate in gun control. Nobody owns guns. As post-lockdown economy sinks, experts warn UK knife crime could rise again. Because if people want to do it, they're going to find a way. But what are you going to do? Exactly. Um, let's see. Every Sunday, 
Be, you know, three years have passed since the kid was killed. Um, in the time, in the last three years, Britain's knife crime crisis has accelerated. More than forty-five thousand blade-related offenses, the highest number on record, were committed in England and Wales last year, according to the official government statistics. Now, as the United Kingdom Ooh. plans to emerge from lockdown, there are fears of a new surge in fatal stabbings. Gang rivalries revisited after months of confinement, social media scores that need to be settled, even the normalization of masks in post-pandemic Britain, there will be no shortage of criminal triggers. Police shot and killed a knife-wielding man in a hotel in Glasgow, Scotland. After he went on a rampage, it left six people, including a police officer, hospitalized on June 27th. Uh, the suspect, oh, no, it doesn't matter. Um, for experts, however, the most feared consequences of COVID-19 are those not immediately obvious, but the disease's deeper socioeconomic effects. Uh, John Sunderland, a retired police superintendent, spent two decades confronting the conditions in which violence ferments, and he knows all too well the agony it leaves behind. So this is, this is what I've been saying, too, right along about all the, you know, the closing down the, um, the economy. It's going to cause these issues. You know, like I said, are we going to do, do we try and save less than 1% of the population just to sacrifice 20% of the population? I know it's the unpopular opinion and call me an asshole if you want, but that's just numbers and you can't argue numbers. I mean, restricting more gun laws in the United States is not going to solve gun violence. No, because most of the gun violence is uh, created with illegally obtained and owned weaponry. I've, I mean, I've said this before, the federal government needs to build a task force that only deals with stopping the illegal gun sales. Um, it's the only way you're going to stop gun violence in the United States. Only way. The problem is, <laughs> in order to do so, they need to create an agency that's so fucking massive that it wouldn't be, be able to sustain itself. Well, the problem is you won't be able to do it because you got like people like Black Lives Matter that wants to defund the police department anyway, so they'll just want to defund that too. Exactly. Um, ooh, hang on. In tech news, <laughs> um, so if you have a, um, what do they call them? Chrome, Chrome, Chrome pad? One of those Chrome based laptops. Um, the latest Google, uh, Google appears a poise to fix that. Uh, the Windows Club understands that an experimental feature in Chrome 86 will reduce energy use by shutting down unnecessary JavaScript timers and trackers when a tab is in the background, such as those that check your scrolling position. The savings could be significant in the right circumstances. Reportedly, Google saved two hours of battery life in a test with 36 background tabs and one blank foreground tab. Extreme conditions to be sure, but not far-fetched. And honestly, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 10 tabs open right now in my browser. So it's not that far off. Um, the gains weren't quite as dramatic when playing a YouTube video, but the more intensive tests still added about 36 minutes of runtime. Uh, this is only available as a flag in early Chrome 86 builds, uh, although it would not be, or though it would be available for all desktop and mobile versions. There's no guarantee that it'll be ready by the time the new version of Chrome is ready for mass adoption, and there's a chance it could be scrapped. If it does ship, though, it could address a common complaint among laptop users. Companies like Apple and Microsoft have regularly touted battery life advantages over Chrome. Um, they could still claim the lead. Google's own test shows Safari, still shows Safari is ahead, but the gap might be small enough that your browser choice could be dictated more by preference than necessity. See, I, I have to admit, I do like Chrome. I, pref I use Chrome pretty exclusively. Um, I am not a fan of Internet Exploder or Edge or whatever they're calling it now. And honestly, Safari straight sucks. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. But uh, Chrome gives me uh, inter-platform operability that I truly enjoy, and I like it. So there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know. I use Google all the time. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, well, you know what? I think we're at a point where we can wrap this up for the week. Oh, it's getting that time anyway. <laughs> this is the drawback with doing this later in the evening. Yeah. Yeah, it's dark out. <laughs> so, well, thank you all for joining us, whether you're listening or watching. We appreciate it. We're here every week, and we're talking about what's going on in the world and our take on the matter. We throw in a dash of common sense and a little bit of bill, and we call it good. <laughs> oh, but uh, remember, like always, you have the potential to do amazing things, and sometimes all it takes is making a few little changes in your life. And it seems that most people have plenty of time on their hands right now. This is the time to take a good long look and see what changes you can make to do those awesome things. So you can do it. We have faith on you, and we will catch you all next week. Yep, have a great week. <laughs> catch you all next week, people. <laughs>